Hello summoners and welcome to another Pro Guides video. I'm Crumbs and today we're gonna talk about the 10 best solo carries on patch 12.12. These are the champs that are overtuned enough to hard carry games and are considered safe to blind pick with little to no bad matchups that can completely shut you down. Do note that the champs in this video are generally the most meta picks for their role and as a result, most of them are picked or banned pretty frequently. If you're looking for champs to play that are much less contested, check out our top 3 champs to main series. The champs in those vids are still strong enough to carry with, but they're low in both pick and ban rate, meaning you're much more likely to get your hands on them. We'll be starting things off in the top lane with Mordekaiser. The very first thing I want to say is that Mord has one glaring weakness. Being a juggernaut means he does a ton of damage, but he's pretty kiteable. The buff to the movement speed he gets in his ult a while back helped to curb that weakness, but there's more you can do for yourself. Instead of running TP or Ignite, take Flash and Ghost. This allows you to definitely run down any target you take into your ult no matter how mobile they are. Then you can run through the rest of their team once you leave the death realm. Another thing that helps a lot is Rylice. In our build, we don't have Rylice being built until third because the first two are better for all out dueling strength, making them better versus strong melee fighters. But if you're laning against someone that'll be trying to kite you, you can get it earlier. It's even good as a first item, since you have plenty of damage for killing squishies, but just lack the sticking power to actually stay on top of them. Whether you're trying to learn to abuse the broken champs on this list, or how to deal with them when you end up on the wrong side of the matchup, if you really want to speed up the process, you should check out ProGuides.com. We have courses from all your favorite streamers and pros like CoreJJ, Aphromoo, and Xmithy to help you really understand how to play your role. And if you want a more personalized experience, we have coaches available 24-7 ready to help you become the best. Our coaches are top tier players that have spent years climbing the solo queue ladder to get to where they are now, and they're ready to share everything they've learned with you. You can find the link for our website down in the description box below. Now let's get back to the video, shall we? The other hard carrying top laner we have is Wukong. We called him being broken when he got that little revamp several patches ago and boy were we right. He's consistently been one of, if not the, very best pick in all three of his roles ever since. Riot obviously knows since they did give him a nerf on 12.11, but that nerf was a joke. It was aimed specifically at Jungle Wukong and he still got here in that role. On top of him being largely ignored, other strong meta picks have been hit with nerfs. All in all, he's a disgustingly strong pick right now that has plenty of outplay potential for 1v1s when played well and can go on to be a huge force in teamfights thanks to his ult. He also has a lot of good builds with options to go more damage heavy for carrying power or to beef up and be a better frontliner. Taking a look at the jungle, our first pick is Volibear. In terms of being easy to play and getting consistent results, it really doesn't get any better than this. He's been consistently sitting at around the 54% win rate for several patches in a row now, and there has been no nerfs aimed at him, nor the items or runes he abuses. He does a ton of damage, and since he's so tanky, he's a frontliner that easily fits into any team comp. To make things even better, there's really no such thing as a bad matchup in the jungle. He's a champ that can very easily force gank after gank. Even if you can't 1v1 your jungle opponent, you can just outpath them and win through your lanes. As a side note, please do not go Predator on Volibear. The PTA page gives you so much more damage and you don't need the movement speed from Predator when you're building camp tank anyways. The other solo carry for this patch is Belveth. Due to the nature of her kit, she's a bit more high risk, high reward than Volibear. She has a weaker early game requiring more effort in your early pathing and looking for opportunistic fights rather than just forcing left and right. That said, there is a reason her win rate is so high, even with her technically being a riskier pick. When you actually play her well, Belveth is an absolute monster of a pick. I can't even remember the last time a champ had this much solo carry potential. The only requirement for carrying fights is having her true form. Once you have it, it's just a matter of getting reset after reset to wipe out the entire enemy team in seconds. And this is even after the nerfs they just dished out. 
I think she's gonna be broken for a long, long time. So definitely jump on this train while you can. In those few games where she's not banned, of course. While her win rate was definitely bad on release, we told you guys that Belveth had an insanely broken kit, as it tends to happen with new releases. It didn't even take the duration of the patch for her to shoot up well into the 50s. She may actually be the most broken champion Riot has ever put into the game. And that brings us to today's question of the day. What do you think was the most broken a champ has ever been? Now, we're not gonna go all the way back to season one, but for me, if you remember and were playing at the time when LeBlanc was released, she was so broken that she had to be nerfed within a few hours of release because of how powerful she was. So I don't know a champion that has been nerfed that quickly because of how overtuned, but that's a throwback story from me and we wanna know from you. So let us know who you think and why down in the comments below. Now, without further ado, let's get back into the video. Next up, we'll go over our mid lane picks, starting with Victor. The meta in both solo lanes have kind of been roller coasters for the past several patches. Without any real changes to Victor himself, he went from being really good to mediocre or even bad and now has risen right back up to being a super strong pick. There's a pretty simple logic problem with him. Usually, a champ that has super strong scaling should have a weak early game, making them a risk to just lock in. But in the current meta, there's absolutely no risk to just blind picking him every game. Half the time, Victor is able to outpoke and bully his lane opponent from level 1. In the worst cases, you just farm out the lane and wait to scale. Either way, you're making it to mid game with ease and outscaling most other picks in the game with his ridiculous damage. Similar to Victor, we've got Swain in the mid lane. He goes neutral or wins most mid lane matchups, and once you make it to two items, he's just an absolute beast in teamfights. While he's usually referred to as an AP bruiser, I think a better description is that he's almost more of a mage juggernaut. He's super tanky, does really good damage over time, has a great pick tool with his E, and serves as a drain tank, especially after his mid scope update. Like other juggernauts, his one weakness is being kited. So if your opponents get out of your ult for too long, it falls off. And to help with that, Rylice gives you some sticking power, but you should really run Ghost on him as well. Both Flash and Ghost Teleport are great summoner combos for him. Moving things down to the bottom lane, it really shouldn't surprise anyone that our first pick is Seraphine. Yeah, this is the list of solo carries, and she's very much a team-oriented champion, but technically that doesn't matter here. She's just so, so, so over the top broken that she still belongs on this list. She's a super strong lane neutralizer thanks to her wave clear and poke, and is pretty much the hardest scaling 5v5 champ in the game able to disable foes, neutralize huge amounts of damage with her double W, and enable allies all at the same time. Congratulations Riot, support Seraphine now has a positive win rate at the cost of giving bot lane carry Seraphine a win rate that's pushing 60%. The other hard bot lane carry we have is Twitch. I think his stats are a bit deceptive though. Statistically, he's pretty much tied with Jin for being the best bot lane marksman, but I think he's actually quite a bit better. He may not be as much of a lane bully, but he gives a lot more agency later in the game since you can consistently look for picks as he's basically an assassin anytime after two items. Plus, his late game team fighting makes him probably the only other champion in the role that can have as much an impact as Seraphine post 30 minutes. Now for our supports, the first champ we have is Senna. Plenty of supports are strong in their own right, but when it comes to solo carrying, obviously Senna is going to be the number one pick. With her ability to dish out even more damage than the actual bot lane carry, heal her allies, root enemies from a distance, stealth an entire team, and have a global shielding laser ultimate all from a range that no threats can reach, who else could really compete for that title? One thing I would like to mention here is the build. We have the Eclipse build listed because it's statistically the best and you can't really argue with numbers here, but I will say there's something to consider. The Eclipse build definitely spikes hard early, but my own personal preference right now is Kraken Slayer for the late game consistent DPS. After the durability patch, everybody has more health and more armor, so the extra true damage based on max HP definitely feels nice. 
Again, that's just what I prefer. You should do whatever fits your playstyle and the game more. Finishing off our list, we have Renata Glask. While plenty of enchanters have had high win rates for the past few months, when it comes to solo carries, we want the best pick for actively contributing to the win. And no one does it like the Cam Baroness. She's definitely by far the most skill expressive champ in the whole class, with the ability to completely turn around fights with good use of her ult. All four of her abilities take at least a bit of effort to use right. Q can be timed to stop divers like Zack or Lee from ever reaching your backline. W has to be timed just right so your allies get full use of the damage and revive passive. E actually has to be lined up if you want to get as much value out of the shielding as possible. And her ult, more than anything else, can be a complete game changer. If you waste it when the enemy carries are already stunned or otherwise unable to attack, it can be a total waste. But if you chain it properly after other CCs or to counter engage on the enemy's go button, it can very easily lead to the enemy team demolishing each other, leaving your team with an easy cleanup job. Wow, there were some real powerhouses on that list. But that wraps things up for our 10 best solo carries on patch 12.12. .12. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to sub so you never miss out on our meta guys and so you're always in the loop on what the best picks are. Remember to let us know what the most broken champ of all time was down in the comments below. And one last thing, don't forget to check out our Discord in the description box below where you can discuss League further or just hang out and be a part of our community. I can't wait to see you guys back for the next video, but until then, good luck on the rift and may the LP God smile down upon you.